My wristwatch is broken My shoes are untied Time is a ticking And so is the tide But I am not worrying Things are what they are Come rain or come shine Or a shooting star I've been to the south I've been to the north East and the west in the middle of course I may have been astray But I've never been lost I've never been beat By the road I've crossed I guess I've been lucky to some degree For someone who ate All the fruit from the tree The stars been aligned And my goose hanging high I'll be okay In the sweet by and by I was born at morning on the first day of June Nineteen hundred and something and two My mom was a sweetheart My father was too They left me a watch and an old pair of shoes I guess I've been lucky to some degree Someone who ate all the food from the tree the Stars been aligned And my goose hanging high I'll be okay in the sweet by and by I'll be okay in the sweet by and by So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is another warm December day here in Pennsylvania, but that's all going to change tomorrow according to the forecast. Tomorrow they're saying we're supposed to have a high of about 33 degrees and like 80% chance of snow. We'll see. But right now it is 54 degrees, kind of partly cloudy skies. We did have some rain this morning and I think there's one more band of rain that'll come through then the temperature is going to drop. Now yesterday we got a ton of rain. I mean probably a half inch, three quarters of an inch of rain, something like that. And everything is a muddy, muddy mess. It really is. As a matter of fact, I just went to the uh, supply yard, took the Mort's dump trailer, got three ton of uh, 2B limestone. Uh, just to try to stay out of the mud a little bit down around the sawmill and the log splitter and things like that. But I do not like mud. And uh, you'd think I'd get used to it. You know, all these years I worked outside. Until about the last six or seven years, I always worked outside. Heavy highway construction, primarily as a blaster, uh, running equipment, things like that. And you'd think you'd get used to the mud, but I do not like it one bit. I wish it would just freeze up and then warm up in March. That would be perfect. But anyway, today is December 30th and uh, Monday. Yeah, I think that's the date. You're going to see this video on New Year's Day. 
So I was planning on doing a video, you know, kind of a recap of the whole year and pulling a bunch of clips from all the different videos and make something real nice. And I got to thinking, you've already seen all those videos. So instead of doing all that, I'm just kind of out running around. I'm going to uh, split some wood today, maybe even saw another red oak log on the sawmill. But I just wanted to wish everybody a happy new year. You know, it, it has been a fantastic year uh, for us personally, for the channel. Uh, and I hope it was good for you as well. And we're really looking forward to 2020. Uh, in 2019, we met a lot of people. We went to some different meetups. We went to Boonville, New York, uh, the Paul Bunyan Show. We went to Buckingstock. And we met so many nice people. And uh, we want to continue that in 2020 and actually go more places and maybe meet more people. Uh, but they're all the same types of people we are. You just like to work hard provide for your family, you like being outside and doing things and building stuff and breaking stuff and cutting wood and just all that stuff. It's great stuff and we just love it. And I didn't realize until I started this channel just how many people out there feel the same way that, that I do and that our whole family does really. We love living where we do and you know, it's work. It is hard work. Uh, I've mentioned in other videos, you know, we could go live in a townhouse somewhere. It would drive me absolutely nuts. Everything we do requires work, but if you enjoy it, it's not really work. It's what we like to do. It's kind of funny because my real job now, it's not physical work like I was used to for years. Now I'm like in a supervisory role. I, uh, I hire contractors to build roads and pads. I work in the oil and gas industry. And uh, when I'm there, all I want to do is get home and kind of tear into something and do some real work or build something or, or produce something. And uh, anyway, I'm almost back to the house right now. I think what I'll do when I get back, we may split a little bit of firewood. And then uh, Melissa has a few things to say too about uh, the new year.
today started out at 60. <laughs> Temperature is dropping. And it's in the 40s now. I just got all the uh, stone spread. Uh, I could actually use about 200 tons of stone here to stay out of the mud completely, but I got things touched up. But uh, I was telling them earlier about, you know, they're going to see this video on New Year's Day and what a great year we've had personally and with the channel and all the nice people that we met. Right. And uh, it's just been really good. And we're really looking forward to 2020. Yeah. And Happy New Year. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Uh, Pork and Kraut Day. It is. We I pork love, and sauerkraut. Love pork and sauerkraut. Day. It's good luck. What do you uh, What do you th have any big plans for 2020 that don't include a swimming pool? Oh, well, you cut me off the knees there, so I don't know. <laughs> no, um, I am gonna stay best friends with Jeannie and Cliff and swim over there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But um, no. So for New Year's resolutions, I'm not you big may on have them. you may have learned this as you get older is to make it doable and manageable. So for 2019, I wanted to track what I ate and track what I spent. So that was a good part of the year. I think I made it through like August. You know, you can use apps or you can use the good old fashioned paper and pen and write down what you eat. Instead of this, I wanna lose 30 pounds or, you know, big goals kind of are what you get tripped up on 30 yeah. days after, you know, so by February, March, you're like, oh, this isn't working. Make things manageable. If you want to do things like, I want to quit swearing or I want to eat healthier. So I'm going to start with eliminating bread or sugar or, you know, just things that or are manageable. swear words. Yeah. Piper, our dog has a swearing problem. Yeah. <laughs> she, Piper, <laughs> everything kind of bothers her. She's a, like emotional dog or something. She is. She's very emotional. She gets offended easily, I guess. I it's should. written all over her face. It is. If uh, in the mornings, like when Melissa goes to the gym, Piper stays real close with Melissa all the time. Mm -hmm. And the second she starts getting ready to go to the gym, it's real early in the morning. She comes right over to me, sits down beside me, and just glares friend. at Melissa because, <laughs> yeah, like I'm her best friend Aww. all of a sudden. Until Melissa gets home, then she just drops me. But uh, yeah. she's Piper is. Uh, That's okay. Kind of a train wreck, really, emotionally. She is. She is. She is. But I'm trying to think what else we wanted to mention. 2020, we are really looking forward to it. It yeah. is. Uh, this past year, like I said, it's been an exciting year. Been really good. And the big thing is we want to get out and meet more people this year. Yeah. Uh, that's what I enjoy most about this YouTube thing. It really is. Because you see us almost every day, what we're doing around here. And you kind of get to know us through the camera. But uh, we don't get to know you unless we meet you. Uh, you know, we do somewhat in all the emails and the comments and, and things and like we that. We appreciate that. But we like meeting people, shaking yeah. their hands, saying hi, talking for a little bit. Yeah. And we had a really good time doing that last year. So it was good. We don't have a schedule for this year yet, but we'll definitely be at Boonville again. Yeah. Definitely be at Paul Bunyan again. Somebody just emailed us about a uh, logging and woodlot oh, show right. in Richmond, Virginia. It's at the Richmond Speedway. That's in May. We're going to look into that. And actually, the Pennsylvania Farm Show is coming right up, what, yeah. in a week or something? We've yeah. got to look into that. I don't, I don't know if we'll make that or not. That might be this weekend. Yeah. But uh, we're planning on doing more of that. And probably in the next week or two, we'll put the schedule on our uh, website, outdoorswithamorgans.com. And you can check it out there. And, you know, mm -hmm. shoot us an email. Keep up with the comments, the Facebook messages, the Instagram stuff. Uh, it's just a lot of fun yeah. meeting people. That, and there'll uh, be more to come. There's going to be more to come for new shirts and hats and yeah. more stuff. But there's going to be more to come for Hunter's firewood business and some other things that Hunter's got in the works. So We've got a lot of things planned for 2020. We do. It's uh, It yeah. should be a good year. It really should. But anyway, I just want to wish you guys a, a happy new year. Hope everybody has a great year. Happy new year. You know, accomplish all your goals. and uh, Or start small. Like, yeah. tell yourself, I'm going to smile once a day. Or twice a day. Or, she you know, smiles the next day, all the time. She's like Eva. Eva uh, smiles you know, all the smile. time. Smile, but um, I, I have a few things for my immediate family that they're watching this. <laughs> my kids. So um, I have one that uh, leave the house a half hour earlier than you really need to. And um, I'm not gonna say who that is. But then my next kid, um, talk to a new person, make a new friend, smile more. I'm not gonna say who that is. And then um, I'm going to tell another person in my family that, um, you know, unload the dishwasher or, you know, fold a load of clothes. I think I have these all figured out who and, you might be talking about. I don't and know. And then 
the big guy, um, don't pass your mom for a pop or a hunter. soda all the time. Oh, uh, Hunter and these, <sighs> he loves pop. He's obsessed. He's obsessed with pop. And really, I don't even know if he likes it that much. It's just he, he wants yeah. it first thing in the morning. We try to give him just one soda a day. And uh, he wants and it at 5 o'clock in, in the morning. Yeah. yeah, and we split it in half. So oh. now he's playing everybody against one another. So like, yeah. he sees Mike and he gets one. He hurry up and throws out in the garbage. Drink it and then away. he sees me and he's like... I'm like because we uh, have them hidden oh, in hidden a super in a, secret place in a crawl space underneath the garage and <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's yeah ugh. so there's some goals for our kids to work on too yeah hmm but you know what it's always good to I remind them try to find the good in other people see if you can't just see it then hunt for it and um, the same with situations try to find the good in situations and do it a little bit at a time once a day or yeah. twice a day and then the next day do a little more and um, before you know it it becomes a habit it becomes second nature right very good <laughs> just point at me <laughs> but i think that's it you want to wrap this video up yeah. for us? thanks so much we had a great 2019 with you we want to wish you a happy 2020 and uh, if you like these videos click the like button subscribe uh, comment down below we'd love to hear from you and share them with your friends thanks thanks, thanks.